Yeah. So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, today, let us have a look at uh, event triggers. Event has a powerful system for handling clicks and uh, the other entering, exiting, and all the 3D interaction uh, events uh, called the uh, event triggers. And it comes in through event systems. And uh, so, let's have a demo of it. Uh, first of all, what we'll be achieving. So there is a door over here. So when you hover on top of the door, you see click to open to the, the door. Once you go out, it is gone. Once you enter, it's in, out, in and out. And when you click on it, the door opens. So this entire thing happens through event triggers. Uh, in most of the games, probably you would have uh, encountered this. So whenever you go close to it, it's a uh, press E to open the door or click to open the door. Uh, these kind of uh, informations are there. So uh, most of these are done with uh, uh, event triggers only, any 3D interaction. So I'll just uh, reiterate. I'll just click on play. When I enter on top of the door, it says click to open or else it's gone. When I click, it opens. This works even for Android. Uh, pointer enter and exit will not work, but uh, the tap event works. Uh, when you click on it, uh, this uh, opening happens. So let's go through it and how it works. First of all, I'll start with an empty scene. We'll come to this later. I'll place a cube. So right now, uh, my intention is whenever I hover on top of this cube, I want to turn it into uh, red. Or else, uh, when I hover out, it will be back to normal color. Or we'll assign some blue color to it. So I'll go ahead and just create a uh, material. And I'll call it as blue. This is a blue color tool. So now what we have to do is whenever I hover on top of it, this should turn red. So we'll start start writing a script. Uh, name of the script will be uh, your triggers, you can name it as you wish. So, so let's remove start and update, we don't need them. Set color to red, let's call it. Let's define a method with this one. A public method it should be. So in this, what we'll be doing is we will need the reference of uh, the cube. So since we'll be attaching this to the cube itself, we need not take the reference; it will take the same reference. So we should get the get component. We should get the material of it. Material dot color. Let's say color dot red. So whenever you hover, <coughs> it should set the color to red. But how does this happen? And also, uh, let us take one more method, which changes it to blue once you exit. Now, uh, let us go back to the scene. This is the programming part of it. So now, uh, let me assign the script to this. So, 
So yeah, now comes the uh, event triggers part. So we want to uh, do it whenever we come, uh, we hover on top of this and exit from this. And just say add component and uh, type in event triggers. So there is a component called event trigger. Just search over here, you will find it. Add an event trigger. Then you see a button over here called add new event type. Click on it. You have a bunch of options uh, which are controlled by the event manager, uh, event manager, event system of Unity. So at this point, we need pointer enter and pointer exit, which gives us whether it has entered or exited. So I'll add pointer enter, and again I will add a new event type pointer exit. So now I have two events. So I'll just click plus. This is similar to how we add uh, function calls to the on click of a button. Drag and drop this particular script. And you see the triggers over here. Uh, just go and set to red. So uh, now I have set the color to red. And when it comes to a uh, pointer exit, same, just drag and drop this. Again, you should go to triggers, set the color to blue, right? So you have added two event triggers, pointer enter and pointer exit in the new event type. For pointer enter, you have added cube. And the cube trigger is set to red color and this is set to blue color for pointer exit. So let us see if this works. Do you see something happening? No. Because we have not set up the uh, event system for this. So for setting up event system, we have few steps to do. First of all, the object on which you are uh, manipulating should have a collider. So this has a box collider with it. So that is already there. Second step is for uh, casting any rays on a physics uh, object, I um, mean any uh, collider based object, you need a physics ray cast. So go to main camera and click on add component and add physics ray caster. So once physics raycaster is added, you will now need an event system to handle all these events, the point render exit and all. So just right click, go to UI and add event system. And now that everything is set up, once I click on play, I'll just click on event system. Uh, you have a small uh, window kind of thing over here. When you go to inspector, just pull it up. By default, it's uh, inside. So now here it shows all the events pointer, press, pointer, enter, the selected item, pointer, exit, uh, and all the things supported. So, You can see over here, it says as uh, main camera, pointer enter queue, and now it's gone. Just look at the point camera, but still the material is not changing. Let's look at the reason for that. There is no material attached to the queue, is what it says. But there is a material. So let's just check out in the Unity website on uh, how it happens. Changing the color.
So it's a set color. We did the same thing. It says material, there is no material attached. I have a meeting name or not the lesson. Okay, we'll do one thing. Yeah, it is in our thing. Hmm? YouTube sound in our thing, things on in our thing. Right. Check for lucky. Hopefully it works now. Huh? Yes, cool. So I was uh, trying to access material directly, but uh, when you see it, uh, it is the mesh renderer which has the material. So you should first get the reference of the mesh renderer and then get the reference of uh, the material inside it and then change the color. So once I hover on top of this, let me magnify the screen. So once I hover on top of this, it becomes red. Once I exit the pointer, it's gone. Right? So this is how the trigger works. Great. So let us now move on to the door scene. I hope this gave an understanding of uh, how the enter and exit works. Now let's uh, move to the uh, door scene. I'm going to save this. So here. Uh, we did a similar thing. When you hover it, uh, it says as uh, uh, click to open and when you uh, exit it, that is gone. So how we did it is, uh, we have a canvas called the door instructions. So that will be turned on and off based on the uh, actions. And let's see. This is the door which should be animated. So uh, this has the collider and uh, have added to this. So do you see any event triggers out here? No, but still the event triggers work. So how it happened is, so there are two ways of uh, uh, doing event triggers. One is via adding a component as event trigger and uh, directly assigning the methods over here. And the second way is to implement the interface inside the program. So I'll just open the door triggers code. It's just in the interest of time not to waste much. I've already written the code. So for this, we should first imp uh, import unity engine.event systems. Then uh, you should be bringing in i pointer key handler, pointer enter, and pointer exit handlers. So we have a few more. Pointer down handler, pointer up handler. So based on your requirement, you can use this. For, for our example, these three should be enough. So pointer click should implement uh, on pointer click method. Suppose uh, if it's not there. You can immediately see an error out here. Saying that door trigger does not implement interface number I point key handler. You can just right click, click fix, and implement the interface. Then you will see this method coming in. Similarly, for uh, for I pointer enter and pointer exit handlers as well, it needs on pointer enter and on pointer exit. These are the ones which are very similar to what uh, uh, we have added over here in the event trigger. Just show it. So you can see pointer enter, pointer exit, pointer kick. 
the event type. The same things have been added over here. Pointer click, point hunter, and pointer exit. So I'll not waste further time. Uh, let's move on. I hope this is clear. And now uh, we are actually assigning this particular instructions canvas. We should uh, and probably put it in, bring in a canvas and uh, mark it as workspace and bring it close to this particular door. Or you can have even a better position for that. You can put it above, below. That's up to you. Maybe you can put it to the left. I've just kept it over here. So this will be assigned to the, uh, by default this is turned off. So this will be assigned to the uh, uh, door which we will be animating. This has the collider, box collider. And uh, similarly main camera will be added with physics ray caster and uh, we have the event system. So uh, once I have a pointer enter, I should enable this. And once I go out, I should disable this. So that's the task. So for that, uh, we take the reference of this, a public reference of it, the door, and the instruction text. So uh, whenever there is a pointer enter, the instruction text is set to true, or else instruction uh, text is set to false. So let's see. Can click on the event system, pull it up, insert. So whenever I enter, you can see that it's updated. Pointer enter is highlighted. Whenever I go out, it's gone. Now the pointer enter is on queue. Now it's on another queue. And now it's on plane. So it basically detects everything. So when we get the door, uh, this happens. When we go out, it's gone. So next is the click operation. So we have uh, for the click thing, I have created a simple mechanism of the door, uh, which is not contextual to this. So I won't be teaching how to do the mechanism. So basically, it has an uh, animator component attached to it, which is turned off. So whenever I click on it, this will be turned on. You can go here and see. Uh, I'm getting door uh, component, animator component from the door, and I'm enabling it to go. So this is uh, what we can do uh, so for for uh, making the click event work to open the door. Let's check it. Sorry, wrong open, open the door or just click the door opens. So that's it. Uh, I hope it's clear and that's it for the uh, session. Thanks.